Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We are now going to do an analysis again for Monday, June 11th. I uh, just wanted to show you something here I posted late uh, Friday night on my website or on YouTube, sorry. It's a new report that I've just put up uh, and basically what it does is, oops, let me just show you this, uh, right here, new summary analysis report for 13 long short cryptocurrency for June 8th and again today is I believe June 11th so let's check out what things have been uh, as brewing for opportunities first there's been a 13 percent drop in Bitcoin since Friday a uh, Korean South Korean uh, exchange got hacked and I think there was some flash crash as well that pretty well killed the performance of of Bitcoin on top of the other, you know, smaller currencies that are going to be pretty well following the trend of wherever Bitcoin goes. So let's check out the first one. Uh, as I said, if you've watched that video, you'll know there's two uh, Word documents that get generated by my script. The first one is a long, so right here. Is called so we, so we still generate this spreadsheet called crypto rank you can see it's just been generated uh, probably 20 minutes ago so these are the ones from the long and this is from really fresh data from Binance so I'm gonna go through this and see what it come what we come up with and um, I've made a other fix in the sorting uh, to prioritize all the pairs I'm about to show you uh, for the short so here again I'll repeat for anyone that might not have seen this we have here the current time and we need that also we do everything by group um, we only have it looks like pretty sad we only have one buy opportunity uh, which is not good does BQX Ethereum so because it's not a group obviously we will not get uh, all this stuff, the mean, uh, the group volume and group mean are pretty well irrelevant. So I guess this report of Bitcoin losing so much value uh, is not good for the cryptocurrency space when it only generates one positive uh, buy signal or a lot for a long. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so let's check out some of the, the charts here for this pair so we have our deviation standard deviation which uh, comparatively <coughs> is slightly below the last group uh, volume or uh, volatility that I generated on Friday the volume is fairly low and this is a, a huge factor for me to take on trades I personally wouldn't do it it's just too small <coughs> and I do think that the um, vol uh, that this will mess up your fills and your slippage on Bitcoin uh, exchange so also though interesting is a strong entry potential because we have a, a harmonic pattern generated so let's check out here what we have so you can see it oscillates a lot and this is on a daily chart so again we're using moving average cross signals here we have another buy looking at that it's been range bound I have no interest in this whatsoever here's the history of it it does have a trend up which is obviously very good below trend though this is just something I wouldn't touch it is below our golden triangle again or sorry golden zone that's between the Fibonacci levels of 0.382 and 618 uh, and Here's, here's something really good, though, uh, is the number of positive returns for this crypto. So there is, that's, that's a very strong, a very strong uh, indicator. Um, so I'm quite, 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 I would probably look at this and go, there's a lot of positive momentum here with the number uh, of returns for this uh, distribution, normalized distribution. So what I like to do is let me just check out the trading view 
uh, version to see what they say about this. And again, we have to make sure we choose the right exchange for Binance. It'll come up, have it spiel, and what does it say? So it's a strong sell. Uh, and again, we'll have all these people saying why. Um, but again, it's an interesting pair where with the number of positive reviews, but uh, the volume is too low. All right, so let's go back and uh, check out the shorts. I'm sure there's quite a few of these um, because there is a, a bear market happening within the cryptocurrency space, as we all know. So the next one we're going to look at is the crypto short. Let me just find it. Uh, where are you? Crypto short copy. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So the short, and as I said, I've changed the sorting to sort for the most volatile. Okay. So here are our short opportunities. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So let's check them out. Now, again, these are shorting opportunities sorted by, as part of it, is, is uh, volume. Uh, we also sort by um, the uh, volatility. And um, if there is a, a, uh, a bear or a, a harmonic pattern. So again, what I wanted to show in the longs, since there's virtually none, this was what we look for. This is the group volume mean, which is like out of whack because of just how far some of these currencies have dropped. Oh, I'm sorry, these, this is the volume. Sorry about that. And then we also have the volatility and usually the last number of scans for these markets I've seen, uh, seven, uh, between, yeah, seven, eight or 9%. So again, these are our, our shorting opportunities and uh, you'll see why I like to use these averages for the group to compare them against uh, individual uh, currency pairs. So here we go. First one, standard uh, deviation of volatility is fairly high, much higher than the group volatility. The volume is really low, not a good sign. There's no harmonic pattern generated. And of course we have our Fibonacci pair so again, once you start looking at these charts, uh, they have come off uh, 0 0.05 down to 0 0.02, and that's over um, March. That's quite a bit of a bit of a drop in the short term. There may be some better opportunities here, but the funny thing is, this is an uptrend uh, and below our volume, and again here. We see that there's, it's tough to say, there seems to be uh, some, a higher concentration of more positive returns. So our next one is BNT Ethereum. I really got to get to know these, uh, these um, pairs. So this, again, is our next one, but the volatility is very low. Volume, yet again, is very low. It's below our Fibonacci um, level. So again, this is just going nowhere. When you see a sell or a short signal, it doesn't really move. I'm not interested in this. Um, this is just not, nothing. It's too tight of an opportunity. Again, uh, it's just the returns here are not going very far. There's not even a lot, any, any, any outliers whatsoever. Now here's the next one. Interesting. Ethereum against the US dollar. And this we have now a short. So as we know, we've hit our peak back in early January and it's been trending kind of down. Uh, another sell signal and it drops a little bit here. But those little drops really add up to in such short order, 25% return roughly between 800 to roughly around 600. And when you look at the most recent drops it has been dropping so there's a definite sell signal there it has trended up somewhat but again 
being below that trend is kind of good. Again, it's it's undervalued. Um, it's more negative. This could kind of a little slight, well, not even really even extreme moves. But uh, the the big one that we're looking for is the volatility is lower than the group. But this is what we want, is the volume that drives that. It's highly liquid. Obviously, it's the second biggest cryptocurrency. So will you make money here? Quite possibly if you decide to short um, this currency, Ethereum against Euro. Uh, sorry, against the uh, US dollar. Just also to let you know, uh, there was an announcement with Binance where they're now uh, allowing you or will be coming this summer to trade your cryptocurrency against the euro, which will be actually pretty good. Adds a lot more options as well. So we'll, we'll obviously be able to track that. Next one, OMG BTC. Volume, mm, I like to see it. I, I'm still trying to get to know these. I'll do another one tomorrow during my live webinar, or uh, I'll prepare for that for the live webinar and do this type of analysis on my live webinar on Tuesday night, tomorrow. Um, this is still not crazy uh, volatility. The volume is, it's it's not, I wouldn't say it's a, a quite liquid, but volume also helps to determine if you can trust the currency, the crypto pair, if it's manipulated or not in the price. But um this, I don't know, I, I think it could still be manipulated somehow. But again, we have our, our, our drop. And again, we have another potential between May and, and in a month, a 25% drop. That's pretty good. Uh, and um, if you get another sell signal, if historically, you don't get a lot of sell signals or short signals. So that may be uh, an opportunity. And again, it is dropping below that trend, which is good too. So this may be, an, uh, if you are and don't mind the low volume, this may be an interesting one to short as well if you can stomach the potential of it. Again, this is more even. Again, there are some, dare I say, extreme moves here of three, uh, yeah, three, three uh, percent, or no, Forget what I just said. Um, anyways, so this one's not looking too bad to short. Next one up, we have GVT BTC. So again, when you look at the volume of ninety-five thousand versus uh, this one here of two hundred fifty-five, uh, this one obviously looks better and it's very low vol vol uh, volatility. But again, it's just it does it, there is shorting opportunity, but it just 0.025 to 0 0.02 um, in, I'm going to estimate, again, roughly a month. <clears throat> That's a 5% drop. So it does move compared in the world of Forex. It's pretty good. But when you look at the other cryptocurrencies I've shown, uh, you're better off to get higher returns. So again, below trend, that's, good. that's a good sign uh, for a shorting opportunity. And here you can see some very extreme moves here on the left to the negative. And if you short those, uh, you may be what we would consider a winner uh, if you get those right calls. So again, this is something maybe to watch. Um, and it really comes down to, I think, Bitcoin. And um, as I said, the volume looks pretty good, but it would just be nice to be able to get these extreme moves on the negative side over a day next one uh standard deviation slightly higher than the group volume's pretty good again it's flat and that's all the way back since january uh, we had a decent little move here but it may have dropped roughly well that's actually, actually might be considered a a decent drop here of roughly uh i'm gonna eyeball it here around 40 percent if you time it properly again we are below trend which is good and then again we are kind of 
historically, it may drop further down here. Uh, who knows? But that's why I keep these, this, what you call a look back or the window so far back to see historically what it can do. Again, I would think that there's some neg more negative here uh, on this one. And again, that's for this uh, pair here, AMB Ethereum. All right, so the next one, we are moving to AMB Bitcoin. Okay, so if you are getting both AMB against the Ethereum and the Bitcoin, this is a very strong, um, a very strong signal. So again, it's more volatile. We get some big drops. Volume is good, and uh, it is below our our uh, value so uh, meaning it's below the trend which is good and when you factor in again it's within that zone and um, it's yeah it has been a lot of negative on the extreme uh, which is quite a few so this may be somewhat a, a really screaming opportunity at you to maybe uh, signal a, a quite a nice drop here point zero 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 one down to roughly here that's a 60 percent uh, yeah 60 percent drop my math might be wrong but one plus one equals three okay so i like that next one blz btc again comparatively volume very strong under our group volatility uh, within the range that we want for the entry 0 0.007 to 0 0.006 very small moves I'm moving off of that it is under trend it is value wow okay so again this one because it's how's their volatility and it's not very volatile but we get these kind of negative moves for shorting that's pretty good. Now, if you get those calls right, that might be helpful for you. Next one, ZRX BTZ. Uh, still under our volatility. Uh, the volume is very strong. Again, we have, uh, looks like it's, it's Fibonacci's false. Let me just check out that first. Wow, this could be, this could be a nice, so this one is clearly overvalued. Uh, but the, here's the problem. The trend is up, it's below trend, but historically it just bounces off that trend. Actually, no, it doesn't, it does drop. So if we have a situation where this drops like this, this may be a nice time to get in. Look at all those negative returns. Yeah, that's another strong one that's looking good for ZRX BTC. Um, I like that one, that, that looks good. Next up, BT, BTS BTC. Our volatility is not quite as volatile as the previous of uh, the group. Volume's quite strong. So again, I come back to why would you want to trade a uh, pair that is like at 49,000, whatever that pair was, versus this one at 3.3 .3 million over 24 hours. And again, th these volume and latest price is captured from the latest bar, which is really the last uh, daily bar so quite strong as a uh, as a shorting opportunity here this one came down roughly 25 percent so there's some good shorting opportunities here um on these over a month and again i don't think you'll get a lot of any asset classes or anything else that will give you a 25 percent return on a shorting opportunity in a month i just don't see that <laughs> Um, so here we are below trend um, again uh, uh, I don't know I, I like to see things higher because it'll have a really sharp drop possibly again there is some negative moves here quite a few actually so historically not bad we've got some nice outliers here so you could do okay if it does drop now here we have IOTA BTC how are we doing here look at that look at that volume very high we have another pair that's that's strong that's a very strong signal these combinations and here is a bearish crab um, to uh, tell you about that pattern 
And again, here we are sitting here. So again, rough price, 0025 to 0024. And that is in a matter of a few weeks. I'm going to estimate maybe three, three weeks there. And then that will give you potentially a 25% drop. So we can maybe make some nice money here. It's below trend. Woohoo. And guess what? Um, it is dropping. Um, but uh, it's going to get banged down to be more valuable. So here we are, again, more slightly positive uh, daily returns, but we have some more, Not I wouldn't comparatively to other um, pairs, the ex extremes are not as, as, as big. So it looks okay. You will make some money here potentially on that shorting opportunity. As I said, historically, the last one was 25% return over three weeks. Pretty good. That's how, that's how you make money, my friends, in the markets these days. The other ones without, and, we're, and again, we're not even factoring any form of leverage here. That's why I like cryptocurrency. No matter what you hear or read, that bad news can make you cash on the short side. Once again, we got BRD, PTC. Again, the volume is very high. Stand up below the group volatility. But again, it's not moving a lot. 0.01. I mean, we're not, this is nothing to sneeze at, but they're very tiny percent moves, slightly above trend. This one doesn't really do a lot for me, evenly distributed in terms of returns. Okay, this one we've been eyeing. It's had a nice, strong trend up. We are now dropping potentially like a stone. So here, again, our Fibonacci level say this pair, Zill, ZIL, Ethereum, I'm sorry, I don't know the names yet. I'm, I'm, I should be knowing them. But uh, give me a couple of weeks and hopefully I'll be a little more professional on that level. Okay, so here is our standard deviation. The vo it's not. You can see it's not volatile. Volatile, it's not moving. But look at that volume. That's very strong. Very, uh, uh, it's over, and you got a harmonic pattern. Oh, sorry, there is no harmonic pattern. Sorry about that. Um, with a Fibonacci false, uh, which means basically this. This is overpriced, so that may force it to come down. That's really strong. So again, you can see it's already started happening over the last few days. Um, so again, something to potentially get in. Evenly distributed on the um, uh, returns here, daily returns. So, uh, not, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, let me just do that again. So, again, very, not very volatile, very strong volume. We've got overvalued where the price is greater or not, is not within or less than our golden range. That's what we talked about here. It's below. Here's our Fibonacci levels. Overvalued. This, this thing's going to drop, and it could be a big drop. So cha-ching, cha-ching, potentially. Slightly uh, more negative uh, returns. So this may be something to watch, and I think that is it. So once again, let me uh, calculate how many signals we have generated here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Shorting opportunities there. All right, so hopefully I'll help you out. I want to see you on my webinar tomorrow night. If you want to learn more about this, happens live, 7 p.m. Go on to my blog, and let me just see if I can find it. Um, uh, better. Yeah, just go on to my blog. You will find a so go quantlabs.net slash blog. And then if you go into the blog here, I think we're, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. It's Monday morning, or was Monday morning, 1 a.m., 1 p.m. Okay, so we are, let's do a webinar search. You should be able to find it here. Uh, yeah, this is it, In the Trenches with Cryptocurrencies webinar. And then, of course, you will be able to find the details for the login on either Zoom uh, or my YouTube channel at Quant Labs um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time for Tuesday. Okay, if you want to learn more, we'll do it again tomorrow. And if you want, I will be putting up these reports and a lot more. If you are interested in this, uh, 
I have um, my quant analytics service because I'm only probably going to do one more round of this for tomorrow. And then again, we're going to have the quant analytics service that will showcase this among a ton of other um, reports as well that I have developed over the years. And we shall talk to you later. Later. Bye.